grab your old jean jacket. It's time to rock a totally crunchy craft. I recently saw Boy George perform here in DC. He only played a few of his 80s songs and he thought he was in Detroit once or twice, but it was still a really cool experience. Well, I've got a few retro shows coming up and I thought it would be fun to make some of these old pins we all used to wear. I'm making them out of old jar lids. I save all of these things and I'm always looking for cool things to do with them. For my pin, I'm going small. I think this is an old lid from a jar of olives. It's about two inches across and it's gonna be totally cool. Cut out whatever awesome images you want and glue them inside your lid with some Mod Podge. Be sure to coat the top too. Let that dry before filling it up with Dimensional Magic. Don't worry, this non-toxic glaze dries clear. Give it a good tap. Air bubbles can be a real issue as you can see with this failed Boy George button. So grab a straight pin or a toothpick and pop them away. Another fail, some of my images bled. Poor Huey Lewis looks terrible here. So what I found is that laser prints work much better than inkjets. Also, the dimensional magic may take a while to dry. Overnight is best. Once it dries, I bought these pin backs from the craft store. They're peel and stick, so it really doesn't get any easier than that. I also painted some of my lids to give it that 80s flair. So bring on the neon, the go-go's, Huey Lewis, and all of those awesome retro groups because these pins are upcycled and totally crunchy.